Hi, I'm Rob and this is Gems of War. In this video I'm showing the new mythic, Flaming Oni, and a couple of teams I've created for him. I've made him into an Archer class team and a very aggressive Sunspear team which uses his traits really really well. I'll show the Archer class team first. His spell is to summon three random goblins. That's really cool on its own. There's only, if there's only one thing worse than goblins themselves, it's a goblin which summons more goblins. Wow. And he explodes a bunch of green gems at the same time and gains the obligatory goblin extra turn. So he's a summoner and a mana generator at the same time, which is pretty smart. His traits, he summons a firestorm at the start of battle, is immune to burning and fairy fire, and a really interesting third trait, red rage converts two red gems to burning gems when his turn begins, which is really cool. And like I say, we will work on that on a sunspear team. I'll show you a really cool sunspear team that makes really the most of that red rage third trait there is a hidden fourth trait on him as well not many people know about but you have to press the subscribe button to activate it no you don't really that was just a complete lie but it'd be cool if you did anyway all right and the way this team works we're going for archer because we're going with essence of evil which inflicts all negative status effects on an enemy and explodes a bunch of gems of their mana color and in archer you've got two really nice traits fast we start battles with 50 percent mana and Bullseye, a 15% chance for Skull Damage to be lethal, which is cool. On the talent side of things, gone for Hunt. So we Hunters mark a random enemy on 4 or 5 gem matches. Precision doesn't matter because we're using a Relic. But there wasn't anything there that used a Relic, so just pick anything. Uh, Root Trap, Entangle was the first enemy at the start of the battle. Nature's Aura, creates a Leaf Storm at the start, which may be overridden by... Um, What's his face is Flaming Oni's Firestorm trait. Child of Sky, a 25% chance to summon a Heron Knife when an ally casts a spell. And that is the main ones. And what's going to happen here is we're going to charge Essence of Evil, stick that on the most dangerous opponent on the other team. That explosion will charge up King Gobruffles and Flaming Oni at the same time, who himself explodes a load of green which generates green for everybody and repeat the process. It's pretty straightforward. For the banner, we're going for the maze banner. When you don't use anything that's purple, this is a really good one to use if you use most of the other colours, especially green and red, because it's the only banner that, you, that has plus two on two different colours. So we've got plus two green and plus two red. And it's particularly handy for this, because should we lose our first three troops, then we've got literally the maximum possibly we can get in mana generation on plus two green and plus two red on flaming only to get him charged up as quickly as possible and replace all those missing goblins. So let's give it a whirl. Can't do a firebomb team, that's silly. So uh, go go for Essence of Evil, Zulgov, Leprechaun team should be interesting. Right, so in the ideal world we want green first, but we take the four matches because Gobtruffle has a Cool third trait where we disease a random enemy when matching four or more gems, which halves the amount of mana that they are possibly to receive. Could have done with the green drop there somewhere, but we haven't got any, so we have to make do. Now we've got Essence of Evil charged up, which is handy. Now we're going to want to throw that on Zulgoth straight away. Because he's the most dangerous opponent, but when you've got Essence of Evil on you, you can't do anything. You're entangled, you're frozen, you're fairy fired, you're burning. You have literally all those bad traits. And while Gorgotha is entangled as well, it's a good chance to try and collect some extra mana for our other members of our team. Because Gorgotha has some pretty powerful armor. He has Granite Skin, which reduces damage from Skulls by 75%. So... Even by hitting him with skulls, you're just chipping away at him slowly but surely. Much better to charge up the other team, the rest of the team first. All right, let's use this wild card to get some mana generation going. All right, we've got a nice four match first. We'll definitely grab that. Do it that way, so then we get the natural match. Take a skull hit first. And then before casting Essence of Evil or... Uh, Flaming Oni will always cast Gob Truffle first. If he doesn't get charged up himself, 
Then we'll cast Flaming Oni to charge up the rest of the team. And if not, then Essence of Evil. But always the Gob Truffles first if we can. So now we've got <coughs> quite a lot of green there. Essence of Evil was ready to go. And this should charge up at least one of the Gob Truffles. And it's charged up both of them. So that's good. We can repeat the process. No extra green there. So we cast the second Gob Truffle. Which is charged up Flaming Oni. We'll now charge up the Gob Truffles again. Or at least one of them. And Gob Truffle fires and that is that. So even though we didn't have a fast start, that still worked really, really well once it got going. I'll just do one more team, one more fight with this, and then I'll show you the Sunspear team with this, which I really, really like. Super aggressive and it works really, really well sometimes. Not much green going on for us. Yeah, that's a, a bit lame. Let's just get the old Gob Truffles underway. Yeah, not much, not much there doing again. Sometimes if the gems just aren't going your way, you have to be patient and just go with what's happening. There's not a lot you can do about it when the gem colours are just saying, not today matey. Alright, now we'll stop. Who should we shut down first? We'll stick it on him. Let's grab these extras first, because now we've got at least two strikes with Gob Truffle before they can do anything as well, before taking these extra bonus skull hits, which when you hit that skull hit on someone that's got Essence of Evil on them, like down here, if they hit, get hit by a spell, they get extra extra damage. And it's going to make short work of the opponents. Yeah, I've not even had to think about the summons yet. That was super straightforward. And we still had Flaming Oni at the bottom there, ready to explode and charge up the Gob, gob Truffles again, which then would have had an extra turn, and they have an extra turn. And yeah, it would have repeated quite well. But now I'll show the Sun Spear variant of this, which I quite like as well. And it really makes use of his uh, third trait. So we'll take this team on, but I'll just switch the team around a bit now. Uh, we'll change class to Sun Spear. And I'm going to change the weapon to Celestial Flask. Now, I'll explain how this one works and why I've, I've done that. Like Flaming Oni's third trait there, convert two red gems to burning gems when my turn begins. Now that's going to be one of the first things we look for in this team, because A, we want red for Celestial Flask, and B, as soon as we match them up with those burning gems, we're going to set fire to the entire opposing team. And in Sunspear class, the last talent tree is Fireblade, which deals triple skull damage to burning enemies. So when they're all burning, we're going to start doing triple skull damage to the entire team, which is really cool. If you don't have Sunspear on 100 yet, there are several other classes with Fireblade as the level 100 trait. So check those out if you um, haven't got Sunspear yet to 100. As well as that, other ones which are quite handy is uh, level 70 Water Mastery, gain bonus blue, deluge, submerge a random ally on four or five gem matches. In fact, that's completely wrong. We want that on plus red now because that was in the team I was trying earlier. Um, we'll have it on Firestarter instead because we're not interested in green anymore. Red is now the colour of choice for this team. Rootstrap is still good though. Nice to entangle the first enemy at the start. I'm going to have Insulated, Immunity to Frozen, and Snap Freeze, Freeze a random enemy at the start. So what we're going to be doing now is checking the banner quickly because that may not be correct anymore. Mm, that's still not yeah, that's still okay because we get Cob Truffle charged up. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm just keep that one. I'll, I'll still think that's okay. Right, so let's try it this time. 
So now the idea is the same. We don't get a fast start on this, so no 50% start. So it is important to try and get that flask charged up nice and fast. And the cool thing about this team as well is everybody's got an extra turn, like obviously the, the three goblins do, but also our hero has an extra turn built into his spell. So here we can get this going. I'm not going to take the, that suggestion because I'm going to want to get the red because we get a wild card, which means a guaranteed six red out of this, and we're going to set fire to the opposition at the same time. All right, now everybody's on fire, so if we get skull damage, but we're entangled. So I shan't bother with that. I oh, will cast Celestial with Flask instead, which generated yellow, which is one of the only colours we don't use. So that really wasn't very kind. And she's entangled too, so I will collect more red. Right, now we've shaken off that entangle, we can start thinking about our, our triple skull damage again, which is going to start seriously damaging the opposition. That's not too bad. A green potion will generate more green, which charges up both gob truffles. And if we get any random skull hits now off these casts, then we're going to be getting triple skull damage. It is important to try and protect the hero in this sort of situation because he is the only one that benefits from that triple skull damage. If he dies and you get a summon from um, other troops, then you don't get that, that triple skull damage anymore. It only applies to the hero, so that is something important to remember. Now, the Cop Trophies have lost their extra turn, but we still get to cast Flaming Oni, who's generated mana for Cop Truffle again. And he's nearly charged again already, so he does get charged up quite quick in this team. We'll cast Flask now. They landed in a pretty, pretty bad place, so no chance of... Continuing this loop now, yes there is, because he's been charged again. Excellent. And the cool thing about green potions is, when you explode his spell, you explode those green potions. So you get an absolute ton of green, and as you can see, it's charged literally the whole team up in one go. We haven't benefited from the um, triple skull damage much, just haven't needed it. But yeah, made short work of that team. They are about to die. Bing bang bong. So we'll just do that one one more time. Remember, if you enjoyed the video, it'd be cool if you hit the like and subscribe button because it really does help. And I'll just show this team one more time again with this Sunspear class because the only risk about it is really having it, it's slow start. There's no fast start on this. In Sunspear, there's no 50% extra and there's no troop in this which gives anybody any um, certain troop a 50% start. So... You are relying on getting going quickly, which is why we've got the uh, banner colours which we have to maximise the chance of getting a good start. Is that saying yellow and brown? That's not a lot of co-op. We don't want to do that. You don't want you can't get red and then get blue. If you can't get blue, then get then get, get green. But this is always a nice chance to set them on fire because we need red for celestial flask. And when we shake off this entanglement, we'll be doing triple skull damage. If we didn't have that, see the first one's immune to, to, to burning. But it's always worth having. Don't really want 81 damage from him, so even though we didn't do anything then. Alright, let's see if we can get some... That's generated purple. Uh, it's no good. Just... It's the only thing, the Celestial Flask is good, but where we don't use purple or yellow, this team does work well, but if that small chance comes in of it giving you a colour which you don't use, then there's not much chance of continuing the turn. But seeing you are charged on this, it is very good, and now we are charged and we can get going now. So, Gob Truffle first. Grab any extra four matches which become available. Oh, nearly missed that one then, wasn't looking properly. Cast Flaming Oni. Don't need the summon yet, not important. 
And now we've got the gob truffles charged up again. Grab any extras. Because if we get any random skull drops, like now we're getting triple skull damage, so we're going to start one-shotting these opponents now. We can take that one quite easily and let them have that one. But I'm interested in trying to keep the, the turn going, because you can get random skull hits anyway. And it's always nice to keep the chain going. And this does keep the loop going pretty nicely. Cast Flask. Oh, it's done yellow again. It's done all the colours which we uh, don't use on this turn, but even with all that bad luck of Cestu Flask, cast, you know, bringing the potions of colours we don't use, like yellow and purple, it still worked. There may be a better weapon than that, like Summer's Fury might work well because that generates red gems and does damage to all opponents but the thing I like about Celestial Flask is it's, it's guaranteed a red turn I mean it's a red turn it's guaranteed an extra turn so even if the initial cast doesn't always work then you can manipulate the board around to make it work for you so there it is there's two teams which I think are pretty decent with Flame and Oni may not be the best ones just yet there may be better ones to come but I'm going to look into that and I'm also going to see if I can get him working with a demon team which will be really really cool but there it is remember to like and subscribe if you enjoyed it but most of all thanks for watching see you again next time bye for now